know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the brake discs and brake pads on your vehicle, you will have to raise the front of the car and take off the wheels. This will provide you with full access to the brake discs. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Raise the front of the vehicle and put in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Raising Your Vehicle Safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the process. Insert a flatted screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Remove the caps covering the caliper mounting bolt. Using a 7mm Allen key, undo the two caliper mounting bolts. Remove the brake caliper and then unclip each of the pads to remove them. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using the cable you have already attached. Using a Phillips screwdriver, release and remove the holding screws on the disc. Finally, remove the disc. Clean the hub with a wire brush and once that is done, coat it with copper grease. This will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. Put the new disc in place that you have already cleaned with brake clean fluid and paper towels to remove any of the storage paraffin wax. If your new disc is coated, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. You can now put the holding screw back in place. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the brake pads go. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease. Remove the brake caliper. Then insert the pads, clipping them in place. Now put the brake caliper back in place, ensuring that the mounting bolts are in front of their housing. Grease the screws. Slide them in and screw them in place with the help of a socket wrench. Put the caps back in place. Don't forget to withdraw the electrical cable or string that you attach to hold the caliper. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Then, you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle, greasing the wheel lugs. You can then put it back on the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful! Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed!